Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about the scientific notation. By the way guys, why do we use scientific notation? One of the reasons we're using it in mathematics is that uh, we're using scientific notation to express a very large number or a very small number into a more compact way on how to express it. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here now uh, the scientific notation which is this one. A times 10 raised to n. This one, your A here, is a number wherein this one is greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. Wherein your letter 10, your letter n here is an integer. So for you to know more about scientific notation, I have here examples of numbers in which it is expressed in scientific notation. We have here 4. 0.5 times 10 raised to the third power, in which this is your a, which is 4.5. Your n is the integer 3 or positive 3. Next, we have 3.2 times 10 raised to the fifth power, in which your a is 3.2 and your exponent here is 5. So, as you can see, we have here two positive exponents wherein uh, this one, if the if the exponent is positive, obviously the number or the original number is a very large number. Now let's move on with the next one. We have six point seventy seven times ten point four. Again, six point seventy seven times ten point four. Now this one is your e, and as you can see, your integer here is negative four. Same with 4 times 10 raised to negative 3. It means to to guys that the original number here is very small, like decimal. Okay, so throughout this video, I will teach you how to ex express a large number into its scientific notation. And to undo that, we have the little examples wherein the given here are expressed in scientific notation and we will expand it into a bigger number or a smaller number. So let's have item number one in which we're given write each number in scientific notation. By the way, how do we convert a very large number or a smaller number in scientific notation? Now, at the end guys, since yung a natin dito is greater than one but less than 10, so you need to know your target points, your target decimal point, okay? We have here, the given, which is 2, uh, 245,000. Again, 245,000. So our target here, our decimal here is from here up to here. So what you will do, okay, that is our target point. Uh, we will start here going to this point in which counting this number of points, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. From this point up to this point, why do I choose 2.24? Uh, 2.4. 2.45 because your A here is less than, ah, uh, sorry, greater than or equal to 1. But less than 10. Okay? So from this point, we need to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since this one is a large number, automatic, or since our movement is from right going to left, okay? We will use a positive exponent. So we have here the answer of 2.45 times 10. You, you can use the base of 10. And your exponent is positive because we moved from right to left. And that is 5 units or 5 decimal places. So we have here 10 raised to 5. And that is the answer or that is the equivalent scientific notation of 245,000. Now let's move on with item number two. This is your starting point here. Okay. 
This is your starting point. And this is your end point. So our movement is from right to left. And we will count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? So we have here our answer, which is 6.6079. Okay, you will eliminate 0 times 10 raised to the 6th power because we moved 6 decimal places or 6 units. So let's move on with item number 3. Item number 3 is 20,000. Your starting point is here and this will be your end point. So a movement natin ngayon is from right to left. We will count 1, 2, 3, 4. So our answer here is 2 times. Again, 2 times 10 raised to the 4th power. Kuha niyo po ba guys? So, yung number 1, 2, and 3 natin are all whole numbers and we expressed it in 2 the scientific notation. And as you can see, for item number 4 and number 5, we are given a very small number or decimals in which this one is your starting point. This one is your starting point. And we will move from left to right. Para convert natin ito, we will move from left to right. And this will be our end point. Hindi ito ah. Because kung ito yung magiging end point natin, your number is 78. And that will violate our rule in which dapat daw greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10. And 78 is greater than 10. So, the target natin dito is to choose this one. So, we will count 1, 2, 3, and 4. So, then move the iron of 4 units from left to right. So, our answer here is 7.8 8 times 10, but the exponent is not positive. It is negative because we moved from left to right. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is 7.8 times 10 raised to negative 4. Okay? Iyan ang kailangan tandaan dito. Kapag nag-move ka from left to right, your exponent should be negative. Now let's move on with number 5. We have 0 0.006. So this is the starting point, And this is your end point. So you will move from left to right. You will count 1, 2, and 3. So you move 3 units. So this is 6 times 10 raised to negative 3. These are the answers when you convert these numbers into its corresponding scientific notation. I hope you learned something from these examples. Okay? If, have any, if you have any question, feel free to comment down below para makita natin if nakukonfuse kayo or naging useful ba itong video natin. Now, let's undo this part. We have here, write the following numbers in standard notation. When we say standard notation, it is the original number. We need to express this scientific notation into its standard number. So let's start with number 1. We are given 2.34 times 10 raised to 2. Okay? As you can see, to undo this part, di ba, ang ginawa natin dito, para makuha natin scientific notation, nag-move tayo from right to left. Dito, ang movement natin ay kabalitaran. We will move from left to right. Kasi ang target natin is to get a bigger number. So what you will do, since ang ating exponent ay 2, again, the exponent is 2, again natin dito, we have 2.34. Since our exponent is 2, ang movement natin ay pa ganito. From left to right, from this point, 1 and 2. This is our end point. Therefore, the answer here or the original number in number 1 is 230.
4. This is our answer. Okay? Same with number 2. In number 2, we have 8.79 times 10. Here, the exponent here is invisible 1. So, I'm gonna write 1. But, if wala ka nakikita ng exponent ng 10, automatic, that is 1. So, what you will do is you have 8.79. So, gagawin mo ngayon, mag-move ka from left to right ng 1 unit from this point up to this point. As you can see, the correct answer for item number 2 is simply 87.9. This is the answer for item number 2. Now, let's proceed with item number 3. We are given 1.567 times 10 raised to the 5th power. So here, meron kang 1.567 and the exponent here is positive 5. Okay? So you will move from left to right for how many units? 5. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But magdalagay ka ng 0. So the answer for item number 3 is simply 156,700. This is the original number. Okay? Now, sir, how about number 4? For item number 4, as you can see, we are given here a negative number, a negative exponent. And if this is negative, automatic, your answer is a very small number. So dito, let me show you. Uh, we've got 78 times, 7.8 times 10 raised to the 8 to the negative 4. A movement natin is from left to right. So undo natin to, movement natin ngayon ay from right to left. So we have here 1.6. So move tayo from right to left. Mula dito ng 3 units. 1, 2, 3. This is then, point mo dito, zero dito, and zero dito, at zero dito. Ibig sabihin, guys, the equivalent of this one is 0 0.0016. And this is the answer for item number 4. Diba? Medyo nakalito, pero as you go along and you could practice some of the exercises na meron sa YouTube or sa mga modules nyo, you can memorize this one. So this one, we have negative 4 as your exponent. So you have 6.2 and your movement is from right to left. Okay? So we will move 4 units going to the left. 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is your end point. Put 0 here, 0, 0, and 0 here. Ibig sabihin, the correct answer for item number 5 is simply 0 point. 0, 0, 0, 62. And this is for number 5. You know guys, I hope na you learned something from this video on how to use the scientific notation in converting or expressing a very large number or a very small number into its equivalent scientific notation and vice versa. So if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!